Welcome to Late to the Show. I'm your host. We're going to bring something new. So all you gamers out there have these fancy ass desktops. Well, this is something that you might need or you might not need. Now, the, the new generation motherboards have plenty of fan connections, but the older versions don't. And you want to fantasize. You want to make your machine all fancy with RGB lighting. And RGB lighting takes a lot of power uh, power from your power supply and connection. So maybe you're going to need a hub just for the fans, just to keep that rig of yours up and running. Or if you want to include more fans, this is something you want to take a look at it. So this is called the FH-10. It's a 10 port power hub, all right? And what it is, it works on a 12 volt DBC, uh, VDC connection. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at it and, and see what you get when you actually... Uh, when you purchase this stuff very simple very easy to use and we're going to open it up here and if you have any questions and we're also going to do a testing on it if you have any questions or any comments make sure you guys put it to, to, on the bottom below in the comments below and make sure you hit that like and subscribe because we do need to hit that 10,000 mark we're looking for uh, subscribers in need right here i'm not begging but i wish i could have uh, all of you guys every time you see my videos please subscribe and hit the like and just support the channel if you can all right so today we're going to go ahead and open it up and we're also going to use a power supply and test it out see how well it works with 10 fans we're, we don't i don't have the 10 fans i'm only going to get three but we're going to do a test on it and if you guys like what you see make make sure you hit that like and subscribe so we'll come back and do the test all right so this is the box we're going to open it up first see what you get you Hold on the side. Pretty much a little tiny device here, but this tiny device has one, two, three, four, five slots on the side. One, two, three, four, five slots on the second side. So there's 10. There is a power connection in here. It's a two, like two pin power connection on one side. And there's another power connection for the CPU. This is actually says CPU fan. So you could connect your CPU fan through here. Uh, your SATA 12 volt connection goes in here. So you do need a 12 volt connection. All right, it's, it's on this side. Right below it, they give you instructions on how to plug this sucker into the system. Make sure that your CPU fan connects through here and make sure you power the whole thing because you don't want to mess up your whole motherboard. Also, if you have multiple fans, you're gonna need this just to make sure that you, you know what you're doing and all the simple instructions, one, two, three, four, and that's it. Simple to connect. It gives you all the details of what kind of fans you can connect. Uh, they're not gonna be controlled through this module. So if you have RGB lighting, just to give you guys a heads up, this is only for powering up your actual existing fans. So today we're gonna do a we're gonna do a demo on it. That's all we're gonna do, a demo on it and let you guys know how it works. Simple, uh, dead, deep cool, not dead cool, deep cool, all right? The logo's embedded in the top. Uh, here's a couple of um, speed testing, I guess, and there's a lighting, RGB lighting in here, that a little uh, LED light that lights up. And when you power it on, two screws covering the whole cover. So go, let's go ahead and test this sucker up and see how well it works. All right. To start testing it out first, you're gonna need a little hack. And I, because I don't have a desktop in here, I'm not gonna put a desktop on. You do need a power supply. Make sure you have a power power connection for the power supply. You need a desktop power supply. I'm gonna use this desktop power supply. This is a Dow machine, all right? So we're gonna know it's on and it turns on when, when we do the little hack. So there is a little hack. They sell these things, these covers, these plastic covers for the power supply with, that connects to your motherboard. There's a there's a, a a little hack that you have to do. You have to get a cable and plug it into the two of the pins. I don't recommend you guys doing this. You know, high voltage, you might get electrified. Try not to mess around with it. This is only for the test of the purposes of the of the fan. So here we are. We got one fan here. We're gonna plug it in here, on one side. Go ahead and plug it in. And like I said, these are these are three pin fans, and of course they make them for four pins too. But there's a spare pin. That's one fan, generic fan. If you guys see it, I'm gonna put a coarse air fan in on the other side, just to show you guys how it works. Plug it in. We're gonna plug in a big thermal take fan. All right, there's a larger fan. This is probably a big giant fan that you will put on maybe over the computer or on the side. 
So we got three fans connected here into this part. Now they do give you the cable and the converter. This is a converter kit for the actual machine. If you guys see it, this is where you're gonna generate the power from. So, and they do give you a M, M, uh, M3M uh, double-sided tape with um, actually they're pretty much um, Velcro tape so you could take this off inside on the side of the computer <clears throat> a SATA connection for power SATA all right so the power two pin connection there's only one area that you can connect to this to and that's pretty much the two pins that are connected here and that's it that's power now we get a power supply let me see if I could move all this stuff over here on the side power supply on here we have all these connections on the power supply. We do need this one for the power. We're gonna plug this sucker in. This is the little hack that we did so we could get this power supply to work and test out. Uh, nothing to burn out, no motherboard, no nothing, but I am gonna keep away from some of the cables. We have this, we just plugged it in. It's a little hack that we did, you know. Um, I'll make a video on it if you ever wanna do that. Put this on the side, nothing near it, no metal objects, no nothing. Everything has to be in plastic, uh, wood. Uh, another thing is that you do need a SATA connection. You need a SATA connection power SATA, all right? So you do need one of these. Plug the sucker in, and remember, there's like pretty much a L shape, L shape, and at the end, and that's it. So that's pretty much all I'm doing. This is just for testing purposes, all right? So you guys can see that you can include up to 10 fans from this module, this port, all right? This uh, hub, I would say, you know? So we got all everything on. We're gonna plug in the power right in front of it. All right, I'm gonna power the power and we're gonna crank the soldier up. As soon as I power it up, it's gonna crank up. So let me keep away from the cables and move the cable all the way. Plug it in. Here's the power. I'm gonna plug it in now. And there we go. Oh, oh, I covered one of the fans. Oh, there it goes. So we're powering everything through the actual power converter on your desktop that you have, up to 10 fans you could run. Look, I am your father, look. Pretty simple. Generic fan, coarse air fan, and of course a thermal take fan. And they're all running from this hub. And this is how simple it is. I'm showing you guys how to do this when you ever set up your desktop. You don't have to do the hack I did because that goes directly to your motherboard. This is only to testing purposes, so don't recommend you guys doing this stuff only for testing purposes, like I said. But this has been a simple hub that you could add because you run out of space on your fan connections. You could add up to 10 fans. I don't have 10 fans here, but I just brought three different types of fans so you guys could see that any fan works on here. The only thing is that you cannot control this, the speeds on it. Do you CPU fan? You can. You can. There's some modules. There's some hacks you can do this, but you can't control any RGB lighting on it. You control the speeds. That's about it. But not out of RGB lighting at all. If you have RGB lighting cables that are plugged in here or need power, uh, you you you're gonna have to buy something different for that. Corsairs have their own. Thermaltake have their own hub too. So there's different modules out there. This is a generic one just for fans. That's all it is. So if you ever want to cool down and you want to set these up towards you, you can just do this little hack. You know what? You can put them on the side and make your own fans. Do whatever you need to, but <clears throat> I'm just showing you this. I want to waste my money on creating something like this for personal fan use because it's using a, a actual power supply, which is expensive under hundred bucks. Then you have to buy your fans. You have to buy this converter kit. I'm not sure about that. So something I don't like to do. I don't like to brag about these things or, but it's a great option for those people that want to see something. They have extra fans in here. This fan is pretty loud. If you guys see it, I freaking hurts it's fast this is this is a real powerful one this is a coarse air one <laughs> it freaking hurt me man on that one so that one's a powerful fan and of course air makes good look at it. it even wants to flow out of it so 12 volts working on it all around thermal tape real simple more quieter than the actual coarse air you know so not that bad i could do another video on that compare all these fans and see that's a great stuff man guys like all this stuff let me know hit me up 
If you guys like what you see, make sure you guys subscribe. I'm your host, Prophet74, and we are out.